How you doing back there? Getting my workout. <laughs> Stephen and Andy, and we started a travel vlog back home in California at a time when we couldn't really travel. Hasn't been driven in a few years. It gave us a great excuse to get out and see some things we've been putting off for way too long. Good morning! We are still in Chattanooga. If you saw our last video, you saw our little tour of downtown Chattanooga, the Arts District, the world's longest or one of the world's longest pedestrian bridges, and of course that amazing World War II train car that we spent the night in the night before. So if you missed that, we'll link to it at the end of this video. Make sure you check it out. It was really cool. Today, we are at Ruby Falls, which is in Chattanooga or just outside of it. I'm looking right at the city here. You gotta see this view, we'll show you, it's incredible. Ruby Falls is the tallest underground waterfall in the United States. So we're gonna go check that out this morning and then we're gonna make our way up Lookout Mountain and check out the views up there. was a really fun tour. We went all the way in, got to see the waterfall, which was pretty impressive. It was a little bit cheesy. They put it to like lights, different colored lights and music. It was like kind of the Disney waterfall. Uh, could have done without the music. <laughs> yeah, I would have appreciated a little more authentic cavern situation, but it's cool. It was fun. Um, we booked our tickets a couple of days ago and it warned us at that time that there would not be opportunities for social distancing within there's an elevator that goes down and then some of the paths are pretty narrow so we were forewarned and we double masked for that we were hoping we'd get a smaller group when we booked a couple of days ago uh most of the tours weren't booked at all there were as many tickets available as there were spaces in each group so we bought a couple of tickets thinking okay maybe we'll be joined by maybe a couple other people we were hoping for a really small group not so much luck no. Uh, it was a full tour, yeah. probably 15 people or so. Oh, 20 at least. 20 oh, to 25. Yeah, yeah. It was like probably 20 or 21 people, I think I counted. If you are concerned about COVID, which hopefully you are, I would say maybe hold off until after vaccinations are pretty complete. Yeah. Don't have to worry too much about weather here since you're in a cavern and the temperature is 60 degrees year round. So kind of doesn't matter what time of year you come up here, huh? Yeah, it's great down there. We did go pretty quickly through an area that had a lot of really cool stalactites hanging from the ceiling. Those are the ones that come down from the ceiling, right? Stalactites? Yeah. I think I got it right. They went through really quickly. I don't know if it, the speed of the tour was because of COVID and because they were just trying to keep stuff moving along so they could get more people through since they were restricting the group sizes. But I do wish we had a little more time to get some photos and video of 
some of the cool formations that we saw along the way because they were really beautiful and we were just kind of walking through and filming yeah. very quickly as we went. So uh, almost losing our tour groups a couple times. Huh? That's kind of the downside of touring <laughs> with a group. Yeah, we, we almost lost them a couple times because we were the stragglers. And now we're on our way to the Incline Railway. It is a funicular at a very steep incline that goes up the mountain where we're gonna have some amazing views. So that's coming up next as soon as we get a bite to eat for lunch. We're about to ride what they claim is America's most amazing mile. This passenger railway is one of the steepest in the world. In fact, the closer you get to the top, you get to a 72.7% grade. The train car travels at just under 10 miles per hour, and it's gonna take us about 15 minutes to get to the top. Oh my gosh, you can see six states, they say? They say six, it's pretty overcast up here today, so maybe we could see two. It's a bit hazy, but yeah, we're on the border of Georgia. I don't know which direction it's in, but we can probably see it from here. And of course, Tennessee, because that's how we came up. Yeah. Yeah. you guys don't forget your masks over your nose thank you so much for watching and we'll see you, see you next, next time, time.